everyone! So today I'm bringing you a review of one of my favorite books that I read in February and that is Henri de Balzac's Ursule Mirouet. Uh, this book, I waffled on the idea of giving it a full review but I just enjoyed it so much I thought that it deserved the individual attention. Um, so this tells the story of Ursule who is the ward of Dr. Minoray um, and she is also his niece um, through an illegitimate son, um, which is part of a, one of the main plot points of this book. Um, this all takes place in the beginning, so this is fairly spoiler free. And she's also his goddaughter. Uh, one of the main driving points of this work is that it is one of the inheritance works. Um, apparently Balzac wrote about four of them. This is the only one I've read, obviously, because it's the second Balzac that I've read. And they all deal with the question of inheritance. And so it's really interesting. Um, so basically the issue with um, Ursul inheriting the Dr. Minoret's fortune is that her father was illegitimate so that actually disbars her from being able to inherit things um, and the main focus of the plot is trying to find a way for Ursul to be able to live um, fairly comfortably after uh, Dr. Minoret's death which is at, he's like 80 I think at the beginning of the book so it's it's coming up um, and it's it's very interesting. Um, one of the catalysts for this plot, and this happens very, like I think it's in the first chapter, is that Dr. Minoret actually converts to Catholicism having been an atheist all of his life um, and this is largely due to the influence of Ursul and some kind of mysticism which was really interesting. I'm not going to go too much into detail because that's much later in the plot. Um, so this story is told partially in reflection and partially in present tense, um, so there's a little bit of back and forth there. And I really liked this novel. I thought it was just kind of this nice, really sweet novel. Um, there's there's some, you know, dastardly people and unlikable characters in it, but ultimately this is a story of the triumph of good over evil, um, <laughs> in, but on a very not large scale. Um, there's no, you know, there's no war involved, there's no, you know, government officials. It's just, it's basically squabbling about inheritance and Ursul is kind of the the sweet innocent and gets taken advantage of a lot. Um, and it's just really interesting to see how Balzac kind of writes around that. I think Balzac, um, was once famously quoted for you can write goodness one way but evil like a thousand ways and he's really good at writing unlikable characters which he did quite well in this. All of the cousins and all the people who stand to inherit uh, Dr. Minoret's fortune are fantastic. Like I really enjoyed their chapters. Um, you get to see a lot of their perspectives and their reasons for wanting to inherit um, and their kind of like mechanisms behind the, behind the scenes trying to steal away Ursul's fortune. Um, and it's just, it's really interesting. It looks at, I found that this was particularly interesting from a historical perspective because I didn't know that if your parent was illegitimate that therefore disbarred you from being um, considered for inheritance in uh, 19th century French law. So that's, that was really interesting to me because I'm not a French historian. So I, yeah, I just really enjoyed this. I keep looking at the, the, the cover on the, the book as if this is an actual person and I'm just like, yes, yes, you are lovely. Um, so I really highly recommend this if you are wanting to read more French literature. I really enjoyed this translation. I don't know too, too much about the, like, uh, French translation, but it's done by Donald Adamson. So I would definitely recommend this. It was very readable. I think this was done fairly recently or released fairly recently, like in the, in the 2000s. Um, it's always better to get, uh, in my opinion at least, to get a more modern translation because it tends to be a little bit more easier to read. Uh, sometimes when you go with older translations it can be a bit tough to, <laughs> to read um, because it, it sometimes translation practices have changed. Um, I know when I was reading one of the plays from my ancient lit class we he chose our professor chose a translation from like the the 1940s and it was really weird and he did it on purpose to show the importance of getting like newer translations. Uh, so I would highly recommend this if you're a fan of French literature, if you're a fan of like naturalistic literature. Um, Balzac was a part of the naturalistic movement. So if you like Jane Austen, if you like Thomas Hardy, I would definitely recommend Balzac. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you guys later on in the week with another video. Bye!